Well, most people think that bacteria are actually bad for you. We think of bacteria, when we hear about bacterial infections, we think a lot about what's in the news about the salmonella outbreaks and things like that. But there are bacteria that are good for you. It's been shown that bacteria in your intestines are absolutely required for the development of your immune system. Bacteria reproduce very simply and rapidly by doubling their contents and splitting in two. Just one bacterium, dividing every 20 minutes, could produce nearly 5,000 billion billion bacteria in one day. To study how bacteria are good for your immune system and how they contribute to immunity, we actually study this using rabbits as a model system. Because in rabbit, a specific type of immune cell called a B cell, which makes antibodies, um, the bacteria are absolutely required for the formation of these antibody molecules. So in most mammals, uh, to generate B cells, it actually a series of events will happen in the bone marrow. And in rabbit, while this is true, and B cells begin their initial development in the bone marrow, they migrate to the intestines, one tissue of which is the appendix. And in the appendix, bacteria will stimulate the B cells or interact with them in some way that will complete their developmental cycle. And so what happens is after these B cells are in the intestine, in the appendix, and they complete their developmental cycle, then they can make antibodies that can fight um, essentially any a foreign organism that the rabbit will come into contact with. Not all bacteria are capable of inducing this developmental stage of B cell development in the appendix. When certain bacteria run out of nutrients and they become starved, they will undergo a process called sporulation and they will essentially form an indestructible form of themselves called a spore. And what I have found is that spores or certain molecules on the surface of spores will interact with a, a molecule on the B cells. And we believe that this interaction is very important for the B cells to undergo this developmental stage in the appendix before they proceed on to migrate to the spleen and lymph nodes to produce antibodies.